Um, this evening, I'm, I'm going to be on life with a blessing. Blessing happens to be uh, Afiba's friend, you know. Um, they were Afiba and Celine, the two missing girls, left Blessing's house in Port Harcourt. And all this why a lot of people have been asking, where is the Blessing? Uh, Blessing was the person who made the video from upstairs when Celine and Afiba were leaving uh, Port Harcourt to meet with Andrew uh, in Abba. So, um, Blessing is here live with us this evening. And also, Blessing was the same person who wrote petition to IG uh, over this matter, all right? So, a lot of people have been asking to know the whereabouts of Blessing, where is Blessing, a lot of people have been asking. So, I was able to reach out to her. Uh, the first time I saw Blessing was in Abuja, IROT office in Abuja, where she... Uh, she was there with uh, the brothers of Afiba, the Galenian brothers who came into Nigeria and they were in that office in Abuja. So um, let us have blessing. Blessing, if you are live with us this evening, please try and um, uh, request. Uh, you know, I'm supposed to be on live by 10, uh, 10 p.m., but due to my busy schedules, if I even missed the AIT interview today, where it could have been an opportunity for me to clear the air on selling Afiba's. Uh, being being called who cop chaos you know but i was not given opportunity because of my busy schedule um i'm far away uh port court for a very very important uh issue all right so uh please if you are online please try and share this live video try and share it to people for people to join a lot of people have been asking to about uh, the blessing so please just try help me and just share this live video that's one thing favor you do to me tonight so that everybody can see it and now hear from blessing directly all right so let me try and get blessing on live so blessing if you're watching me please try and request so i can add you up you know on this live uh, uh session this evening please i'm waiting for your request all right try and um request for you to join us to uh this evening Okay, so I'm bringing blessing. Okay, we're waiting for blessing to join us so that we'll hear from her. Yeah, good Hi, evening, blessing. Evening. How are you? Yeah, how are you? I'm fine. My name is is harrison one issue uh yes, you know you know i met you at the irot office uh when i when, uh, yes. when i got to yes when i was invited by the commander to bring in rachel for her to make statements yes, so sorry. that day i that mm. day i saw you with um with the Ghanaian brothers our famous brothers yeah okay so you, you, I, want, I just need to ask some few questions, then you respond, please. I'm sorry for coming, uh, we, we coming back, coming on live by this time. We're supposed to have you by 10 p.m. I'm so sorry for the late, please. No, yeah. it's okay. okay. So, um, who is a who is a FIBA and selling to you? Okay, both of them are my, my friends. Okay, so hold on, hold on, please. Bless me, we not show our face, uh, because. That's a handle. She cannot show her face because of for security reasons. She cannot show her face because um, I have to plead to her because she's um, she told me she's been dragged on social media and um, uh, due to her security reasons, she cannot show her face. So you can listen to her voice. That's a handle. That's a re a page on social media. So she appealed and the family also appealed that her face should not be shown so it's normal for anybody can decide not to show her face or not so everybody can hear your voice so blessing what do you, um who is afiba and selene to you please go ahead okay both of them are my friends uh i met afiba in ghana and i met selene in nigeria so okay. uh, uh yes i met selene uh during calabas carnival doing a model uh job 
So I met her dad and I met Afiba because she sells a uh, product. So I was trying to gain weight then. So someone introduced me to her product and I met her. So she was my friend. So from them, we became friends. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so um, have you been to Afiba's country? Like, have you visited Afiba before? I've been to Afiba's house. I've been to her family house before, her sister's house. So yes, I have. Okay, please hold on. Um, if anybody drop an insult or insults uh, my, uh, I would say, uh, uh, the, the girl, bless her, who is on live with me this evening, I'm going to off the comment session. I don't, I don't normally off comment session, but if I see any insult, because those things will result to distraction, all right, I'm going to off the comment session so that um, she won't be distracted, so she can be able to flow well. So please. I'm not offering my comment session. I don't offer my comment session. So please try and fit out whatever you write here. All right. So bless and try and look away from the comment session, okay? No, it's okay. It's fine. All right, yeah. So please, um, so now let's start from when uh Afiba came into Nigeria. So when did Afiba came into the country to the country and for what purpose? Okay. Uh, Afiba came uh came to Nigeria, I think on the ninth of the April, May, June, July, April. Night of April, but uh, she and Selene, they both came to Nigeria together and uh, they weren't in my house at, at first. They were in Lagos and from Lagos to Oweri before they came to my house. So uh, they came to, on the night, I remember vividly, ninth, they came to, on the night of April. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, they came into your house, the Afiba and Selene were in your house in Portacourt. Yeah, they came to my house on the 19th of April. Okay. Selene knows Afiba before now, before this um, 19th of April. Yes. They, they came in together from Ghana, actually. They came in together from okay. Ghana. Okay. Were you the one yes. that connected, were you, were you the, the connected uh, uh, Selene to Afiba or Afiba to Selene? Uh, I traveled to Ghana and uh, Selene was with me. So I was in Afiba's house. So she accommodated both of us. But since then, I haven't been there. So both of them are more of best friend that, than me, myself. So. Okay, I have turned off the comment session so that there will be no distraction. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So uh, now, um, for how long did Selena and Afiba spend in your house from the 19th? Were they your house from 19th to 27th or 26th? They were in my house till uh, 26th. Okay. That's in Port Harcourt, right? Yes. That's... You say what? Try and uh, I don't know. You are using your phone for your calls are coming to your phone. Um, that's what is. Uh, that's what I'm noticing that you're having calls. Uh, bless me if you're hearing us, just try and, uh, you know, your network is uh, 40. My own network is very uh, perfect, it's okay. The network is from your end. David. 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 Are you not hearing David? Turn off that stuff, please, the noise. Okay, I don't know. I all right. So I don't know what's wrong with um our network. Our network is uh, is you see she's live, but I think she's she's on the call or something. So um, can we can we get Felicin? Sorry, see blessing. Yeah. Can you put on your phone or do not disturb so that people cannot be calling you? So once they call you, it's you know it's it won't connect. So I think that's what you need to do. I think they are calling you to I don't know. So uh
So I need to bring one person on live with us to join us on this live, to be on this live session. Let's have me, blessing, and one person. So in the case, I'm going to bring you. So your own day is just to take note of what she's talking so that later we can, both of us, will ask questions. So... All right. So um, let's let's get a... If you are going to join me on this live session, just indicate now so that I can bring you live and then also bring you bring her uh uh live so that we we'll have to be three so i have to remove her now and uh possibly add her again so blessing try and request back let me bring you back uh to this live please Can you can you please uh, request back? Let's join. You. I'm trying to add her back so we can have her back on this live, please. Request. Um, what's the name again? Okay, blessing is back. Um, Harrison invites. Okay, request, please request. Okay, I'm bringing back blessing now. She she's she's back. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, what happened? I was trying to text you that. I can't hear you. Can you hear me yes. now? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, I said, so what, what was the purpose of um, Afiba uh, visiting you in in, um, in Port Harcourt? Okay, she, she just said they wanted to visit, that uh, she was going to see me before she leaves. So she was actually, first. firstly, this is what people don't know, uh, she was in Lagos. They came directly from Lagos. Then they went to Imo State before they came to my house. So there's a narrative going on saying that she came to my house uh, direct. She never came to my house direct. Oh. So, okay. Yeah. Okay, they went to Lagos, from Lagos to Imo State. Imo State, the, then they came to your house. Before they came to my house, yeah. Okay, did she tell you what? She said she was coming to your house for just for her to uh, see you before she traveled back to Ghana, right? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you, bro, for joining us. All right, now, um, um, well, while she was in your house, what happened? Did you notice any strange calls from her? I mean, Celine, not Afiba, because Afiba is a stranger in Nigeria. So, Celine happens to be. No, um, actually, there's, there, there's something people don't know. This is not the first time Afiba came to my house. Oh, this is not the first okay. time. Okay. This is actually the second time, yes. The first time she came directly to my house, but the second time she didn't come directly to my house. So you, there can was you... not... Can you hear me uh, very well? Yeah, yes. I'm hearing you well now, yes. Yes, yes. so it's not the first time she came to my house. Okay. So can you tell us the date she came to your house? What was the date, the year? Uh, it should be 2021, 2021 ending or 2022. Starting of the year or ending 2021. I have to, I think. Okay. Did she yeah. come with Afiba? That, did she come with Selene that time she was in your house? No, she didn't okay. come with Selene that time she was in your house. Alone. Yeah, so she, that was, so when she came to my house, and uh, mm. that was when uh, she, when she came to my house, that's 2021, and she was going back, she and Selene went back together. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Mm. Now, what she was in your house from 19th of April, Mm. What did you notice? What did you notice with, uh, with Selene Afiba? What did you notice about them being in your house? Nothing, because even before she came to my house, I told her that, yo, I'll be very, very busy with my work, but it's fine, because most times I go out in the morning and I come back in the night, and it was during the night, maybe, okay, we want to go out, let's go out, you want to go for your lashes, then I would just recommend, oh, go here, do your lashes or something like that. So, but they were at home. I didn't notice anything. Okay. Can, can you just, can you be able to tell us, like, what you do, like your job? What do you do, please? I'm not doing okay, that bad um, for you. Just for you to tell us what you do, so. 
Okay. Uh, I'm trying to open my... Uh, she knows about it, so Afiba and everybody around me knows about it. I'm trying to open my medical spa. It's a medical spa, so I, I was doing some innovation. Yes, yes. So okay. I'm here to open it. So I was supposed to open it last month, but because of due to everything that has been happening, it's really affected me. I said, let me just uh, take a break. Okay, so where did um, Afiba, you know Afiba is not in Nigeria. So when she was leaving Port Harcourt to mm -hmm. where uh, yes. with Celine, what did she tell you? Or what did they tell you? Okay. Okay, Celine said, I asked Celine, uh, where are you going to? She said she's going to Abba. I said, uh, why Abba, where are you going to? She said she's going to see her friend. I said, who is this friend? She said, it's her friend. She knows him. I said, are you sure you know this guy? She said, yeah, she knows him. I said, ah, okay. Then when I said that, so she, I said, uh, so Afiba now. I thought Afiba, Afiba, do you know about this? She said, ah, Celine said about her friend. I said, who is this friend? Then Celine said, you remember that my friend I was telling you about? She was telling her. So I said, okay, but if you're living in Abba, I've never been to, I've not been to Abba for a long time. The last time oh. I was in Abba was four years or three years for a wedding, a friend's wedding, that I know that the roads are not good and all that. So she said, it's fine, it's her friend. I said, okay, no problem. So they left. That was how they left. Oh, okay. Um, and she didn't tell you this person she was going to see? Mm -mm. Like... She said it's her friend. So actually, let us be plain here. Yeah? She said uh, I was going to see my boyfriend and I have I have no uh I have no uh right to ask her, yeah. hey, who is your boyfriend? She mentioned, or something like that. She mentioned boyfriend that she wants to go and see her boyfriend. That's Celine, not not Afiba. Yes. Yes, not Afiba. She said her boyfriend. Okay. I said, okay. Yeah. Okay. And she never told you that she was going for something like what is what is trending on social media that somebody paid her money to come and spend some time like that nothing like that happens, no right? no she never she never told me that okay so they left the house on 27th am i correct yes yes 27th so did you see them leaving your house did they left the house what yes they left my what house so they they were supposed actually before then they actually packed their luggage to go to, because they said they were going to go back to Accra. Uh, and uh, Celine said she wanted to go to Lagos, but uh, she wants to go and see this, her friend. And I was like, ah, madam, this one you're going out and all that. So that is girl's talk. Then also, uh, I, I told them, ah, I'm going for my own, uh, I'm going to Abuja for an interview and all that. So they said, ah, that, like, they are going to come back two days after. And they okay. need access to my house. Yeah, so I said, okay, I will give access. I will keep the key or give it to my security guys. Then they can give you access. Then they said they were going to go, just come back and take their stuff and go back home. So that was that was all. So when you were leaving your house that day, what did you, what did you do? Did you see them entering a vehicle or anything? Yeah, they entered a vehicle. They left because uh, Celine said she was going to get uh, a boat. She was. She said she was going to get the boat to Abba. So that was the last. So. Okay. Okay. Boat. Can boat? But does boat do interstates? Like leaving your. I don't know. Do they do interstates? I or don't normal, know. I drive. Normal taxi. I think it's normal taxi. It's a, okay. Normal taxi. taxi. I, don't I, don't know. Know. I don't know. It should be normal taxi. I think so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. The, I noticed that you made a video. A video was made and which. Uh, Someone sent to me and I shared it on my page. You, yes, that you video. That, video that, that voice sounds like your voice. Too. Yeah, it is my voice. It's because I was like, bye, baby, bye. And uh, then they were like, Celine, I was like calling Mama Celine. So she was like, hey, don't forget to pack your stuff. So, and it's a normal okay, so, uh, video. It's a normal oh. video. Even when they arrive, they do video. Even once, even when I'm in Accra or whenever, even the day uh, Afiba saw me, she did a video of me. I was like, hey, baby, and all that. So it's a normal uh, Snapchat. Yeah. Okay. It's just like, it's not, it's not intentional. I just made that video like the way you guys used to do it before. Yes, we do normal. You know? Hello. Hey, she's here. If I'm in Ghana, she say, hey, my baby is here in Ghana and all that. So it's normal. All right. So they left your house on 27th. Yeah. What time did they now reach, start to reach back to you or message you or call you on the phone and say, okay, okay they, they left my what? house. They left my house on 27th, yes. 
And I was the one who, because uh, I was the one who asked, hey, babes, uh, have you guys reached what's going on? Nobody has called me. Then they were like, hey, they have reached to and all that. I was like, oh, why didn't you call me? And all that. So she said, ah, it's okay. Then I told her that I've been busy. I think I sent the, the, the message, uh, the screenshot to you, Harrison. Uh, I said, uh, I've been busy working there. They said, take it easy on yourself. And that was the last. Celine even commented on my picture that day. She commented on the picture. Then the next day, I didn't hear anything from them because I sent uh, Afiba, Afiba especially. I said, Afiba, share me your live location because, you know, even whenever she even whenever she goes to make her hair or do her, whenever she wants to go for beauty treatment, I tell her, hey, share me the live location because if I'm not there, you have to share me because I know you don't know your way around. So uh, it was the next day I dropped a message and I said, hey, you've not shared me your live location, what's oh. going on? So I didn't say any reply, I didn't say any feedback. Then uh, I think one hour later, I saw a message from Afiba saying kidnapped by Andrew, called the police. He's coming, he's coming. I said, what is happening? I said, what is happening? What's going on? So she said, call the police. I said, ah. I said, what? what? I don't understand what's going on. Then I said, drop his phone number. I don't even know what was happening at that point. It was looking like a, a dream or like a prank. Then that, that was when I realized that. I thought I said, then she sent me a live location. Then afterwards, then afterwards, she uh, sent me, uh, I thought, I, I don't know how to use this location. Send me the one that if you move, I will know where you move. She said, okay. I said, drop his address, drop his full address for me. So she said, no, use the, use the map. So I asked for the live location. So I asked for the live location. So she sent me, then all of a sudden it ended. Oh. The live location where you can move, if you move around, you yeah. see uh, wherever the person moves. So, yes. Okay. So um, what do you now do? You know, you notice that. You okay, yeah. Immediately, your, I, your... I saw that. Yeah, I was just waiting. I just, I was just waiting for you to ask me before I say okay. anything. So immediately, I saw that. I don't really, know, I don't know people in Aba. I don't know people in Aba. So I reached out to my friend who is. Uh, I know she gave birth. I, I told her, hey, Alpha, did you do you know this place? My friend just sent it to me that, ah, that they got kidnapped. Or that she said, ah, where? Then I sent her the live location. She was like, ah, Obingwa, no, that place is a bad place. They have names for that. Uh, they have bad names there. Uh, then I said, ah, do you know any police people around there? Then I started calling the police people I know, but I don't know anybody in Abba. So when I was asking, and that day was on Sunday, so they were like, ah, uh, today is Sunday, this one, that one. I was asking, please, do you know anybody in Abba? Please, so the person can help. I sent, uh, so I got numbers. I got from DSS, I got some trackers. I got uh, a lot of people to help, so I, I always, I sent them the live location. Hey, please, can you, then one of the tracker guy was like, oh, there's no tracking machine here that they took it to Potakot or something like, there were a lot of stories. So before I was trying to just see what I could do, but I'm not really familiar with the Abba. I'm not, I'm not even familiar at all with the Abba place. So yeah. then I had to reach out to the family and say, and I told them, see, the family. see, see what I saw. I reached out, I reached out to Celine's family first. Then also, because I used to have Afiba's sister's phone number, then I didn't, I was looking for it, I didn't see it. Then I started chatting uh, Afiba's best friend. I told her, hey, I even sent her a message on, uh, where you have a, a Instagram message, where you have uh, contact me, it was a Gmail. I sent it to her, I said, it is me, please treat it as urgent. I need uh, Afiba's sister's or the, any of the family member's number. So I had to contact then before uh, somebody else contacted me, then gave me Afiba's husband's number, yeah. then before I got Afiba's sister's number, yes. Okay. So did you send the information you received to yes. them? Yes, everything. I sent the screenshot and sent that, see, see what I got from Afiba. I sent it to them. Okay. Yeah. You sent to Celine's sister? Sent... Celine's sister. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, mm. okay. All right, so this this part is for Celine's sister to tell us what she did with the uh, information you sent to her, all right? Mm -hmm. So after your own session, I'm going to still bring her to tell us what she did with the uh, life location she received from you, all right? So mm -hmm. now, your friends are missing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your mm -hmm. Sorry, your friends sent me that they are being kidnapped. Yeah. What, what did you do next? After you sent the location, 
to Celine's sister, what was your next action on this matter? Okay, after that, I went to the police. I went to the police and I told her. Just mention told... names of police that you went to. That, okay, I will. Uh, uh, it... Because I know you're not, you're not you're in Abuja then. At that, at yes, point, I was right? in Abuja. Yeah, so it was in Abuja, uh, the police okay. headquarters. So I sent that. I sent. Uh, uh, I went there, the police headquarters, to complain and all that. Then uh, I also wrote uh, on the second of May too. I also because on second of May I, I wrote a petition uh, in uh, Abuja, the headquarters, calling them for help, telling them that hey, I got a message from my friend with the phone number, this, 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 with the passport number, this, this, this. Please, I need you people to assist me and all that. So that was all I did. Okay. That yeah. picture you wrote, mm. did you include Andrew's name on the petition? Mm -mm. I didn't. On that day, I said, I said, uh, my friend uh, sent a distressing message, kidnap. Okay. She sent a distressing message that she was kidnapped. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So wh why didn't you include Andrew's name on the petition? It didn't occur to me. Okay. It didn't occur to me because all I know is that that kidnapped this thing and all that, and also the phone numbers. And I know the, the because whenever the trackers that have been trying to help, whenever they ask, they said, hey, we need their phone numbers because that's the phone numbers they're using to track. So okay. I didn't add kidnapped by Andrew, yes. But I said she sent me a distressing message that she was kidnapped. Yeah. Yes. I took it there, yeah. Okay. And uh, at that point, do you know? The name, the person died. We got the first century distress message. Yes. At that point, you know the name of the man that kidnapped them. You know, she, she at that point, something. Yes. You said? You no, know, she, she sent you a, a message, SOS message, and then sent you a live location. And then she mentioned Andrew. Hello? Andrew. Hello, can you hear me? I can yeah. hear you. Can, yeah, you can said hear something. Me now? Yeah, yeah, I said she sent you a live location. And then yeah. she sent you that she, they have been kidnapped by a name. Andrew. Yes. Yeah, she said, she, because even me, I don't even know the name, that name, Andrew, until that day. Yeah, that so day. that was okay. why I said, yes, I don't know. I don't okay, I didn't so know anybody called Andrew. The picture you wrote to the IG was that your friend complained that it sent a distressed message that they have been kidnapped yes. somewhere yes. in her back. Yes. Yes, so I wrote it, I submitted it to the IG office. Yes. Okay, and the content of it is the your, your friend's details, information, and rest of them. Yes, and was, my information too, yes. You wrote it yourself or a lawyer wrote it for you? Okay, the first, the first, uh, the first message, uh, the first letter I wrote, I think it was declined because they said it's it's immature and no one is going to reply to it. So the police helped me. They had to call their own lawyer and uh, write a, a message, a letter. Okay. Yeah, because the okay, first so one was it's... declined. Okay. 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 I think I saw I saw a copy of that letter that you yeah. wrote. Yeah. Where you put your name, IG, and just yeah. just a, a, plain, a plain paper, a plain something, right? Yes. And you wrote. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I understand. I understand what happened there. Okay. All right. And um, now, mm. at the point where the petition, the police invite you or call you to come make statements over this matter. Yes, that was the day before I saw you. Uh, okay. Yes, I got uh, a call that they need me to come uh, and sorry, make a sorry. statement. I'm sorry. You submitted a petition when? What, what did you submit a petition? What date? The date. I remember. Yes. The, f the first date I submitted permission uh, petition was on the 2nd of May. Yes, on the 2nd of, 2nd of May. Because why? Yes, because I know that the family has already... Because when I told the family, uh, they've already gone to the police to to make a report or something. So, but before then, I've been trying to contact uh, DSS and trackers. Then I also had to call because someone advised me go to the IDP and uh, send a letter, a distress letter or something. It was the second of May, yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Then you were invited on what date? Um, that was the day before I saw you. That was when uh, the, the set that was, was the IRC. That was, that was even after 23rd of May. Yes. Okay. 
So yes. said, but Come. Turn on them. Um, okay. I'm just checking the distance. Yes, Before because they way. didn't approve it. They didn't approve it. I was waiting for approval. Okay. Because yeah. I kept waiting for approval. A. Hey. Then also, there's this point people are not, uh, people doesn't know. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, the Ghana Embassy, because when I saw that my approval was taking too long, I yes. I spoke to the Ghana consulate guy. He, he speaks to me. So I speak to him. I said, hey, this is our best shot. No one has replied me. If a diplomat will go and... Uh, and, and write a petition too, I think yes. it would be faster because I'm a Nigerian, I'm a, I'm a normal citizen. So if a diplomat person will come and, hey, sir, please, our, one of our own is missing, they would reply to uh. you fast. So, uh, so I think they did, yes. So that was afterwards and before they approved my own petition. Okay, so how did you get contact of the, consul, the, the Ghanaian guy uh, from the, uh, from the, the Ghanaian? The, the Ghanaian consulate, uh, Afiba's family contacted them. Okay. Then also, because they also told them that I was the one she sent live location. So he okay. has been communicating with me since then, yes. Okay. So all this process you have, you've, you've made so far, did you report this to the family, to the both families? Yes, they know. They are aware. They are aware of your, your yes. processes that you have? You have yes, okay. they are aware. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, thank you very much for uh, agreeing to join me um, on this live session. Uh, like I told them before, I'm not good at making live videos, but I think because of you know clarity and to to, uh, to stop uh, you know misleading people in the public, I think it's very it's best that I come up and be getting this information out to the people. All right? Yeah. Uh, because number yeah number one I. I brought this case to the limelight, like I brought it out to the public from the one, and I think it's important that we all that we all um, uh, get to know about what is going on. Then again, um, uh, blessing. Yeah. Are you yeah. here? Yes, I'm here. I can hear you. Okay. Now, um, there's a point I want to clarify for us now. So. I'm sorry to bring this, uh, you know, personal lives. I, it's not something I can bring on social media. But just because of clarity, just help us to, you know, try to see how to clarify this. Mm -hmm. At what point, people are mentioning that your boyfriend, this and that, this and that, this and that. I'm sorry, I'm, I don't supposed to say this, okay? But please, can you tell us how you got your boyfriend or how your boyfriend got involved in this whole thing? Okay, uh... Because, like I said before, I I don't have any police contact. I have never been in uh, in this kind of situation before. Okay. So, yeah. because when I saw that message, he was with me, and I was crying. I was like, "Hey, what's going on? What's happening? I need help." I was calling people like crazy. I was calling. I was calling people. Hey, do you? I was even calling indigents of Abia. Hey, do you have contact? Do you have this one? Help me. This one. Now my friends are in danger and all that. Uh -huh. So he saw me and he said, "Oh," he was like, "Oh." let him uh, contact uh, some people he knows so okay. and that is it yeah that was okay you got him involved because of yes when he noticed something yes. okay you know yes. you not him. Mm. okay he now assisted to call made some contact of police yes, officers to help yes yes okay, that was and that was how, how I that was how he got involved yeah your husband doesn't know afiba sorry who is my husband your boyfriend, I'm no. sorry. I'm no, I'm not. And he doesn't know Afiba, also, right? He doesn't know. And also, I want to debunk uh, because there are a lot of uh, stories Go going on. Uh, uh. There are a lot of stories going on with uh, faceless uh, bloggers and all that. Uh, they'll be saying, uh, I was married uh, and uh, I have never been married. People will know me, even uh, the family of Afiba or the family of Selin. Okay, let me say the family of Selin. At least they should know if I was yeah. married. I have never been married. There are stories going on that they came for my wedding, this one, that one, and all that. But I have never been married. Okay. Those yes. ones are those and, social media yes. rumors, right? Yes, and also, mm -hmm. yes, and also uh, because a lot of bloggers have been saying I've been, uh, I've been running away. I've never given my statement. That is why I actually came on live. That is the only reason i came live because i know people uh -huh. want to trend with my name because i've been seeing pictures because posting i and saw yes. you i saw you at the yes. iroc police yes. office in abuja with a paper related brother uh, brother yes who came in from ghana yeah you brought them you brought them i think you drove them to yeah. the police office yeah i drove them 
Come to and the police office. And when you saw, you saw that I was having, I was even trying to me and the one five hours like yeah. We were even scared. We, we thought you I know, was, yeah. you guys, you now left to yeah. come and then they now followed me. You brought them yeah. to the station. Yeah. Then later you came to pick them okay. back because they don't know their way around. Yes. Yeah, because yeah. you know when I now saw that you were hiding in port where I hiding, I I was saying I was. I didn't even know it was yes. you. Yeah. I didn't know it was you. <laughs> let's say until you now reach out and said. I was the one that you saw at the office in Abuja. Yeah. You know, so that just that one is just. I'm sorry about that. The social media sometimes. That's why I said if this. That's, you know, I'm happy you are here because yeah. you're not telling us directly what happened from beginning yeah. because you were there when they left your house. Yeah. So that people will understand the role that you played. Okay, guys. So hold on, please. Let let me get them back on life. Uh. And uh, so that we can continue. That word threat was a uh, uh, blessing. Try and fit her, uh what to say, you know. That was a that was a harsh one, you know. That was why, you know. Please just try and uh, and uh, <laughs> so, all right. Okay. Mm. Hello, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for those words. There's it's okay. No, no problem. I, you know, I'm not used to this live session stuff. So Me too. I would have. Uh, so, maybe we want to use that kind of stuff. You have to spell it out, okay? Yeah. Yes, just fill it out. Mm, okay. All right. Um, um, let me try and bring that man back. Okay. I think the man just try and request back. I'll add you. Okay. Blessing. Um, uh, thank you very much for at least for your time. If you want to mention anything like uh, this, thing, just say bye. Okay. Or, okay. Uh, hey, I so me, uh, the reason I did this, I did this live section is uh, I want people to just uh, have to find Afiba and Celine because. It seems uh, people are switching the narratives and they're making people not to help because I think, oh. I don't know, yeah, but it's okay. Because, okay, you, yeah. you know, even me too, um, <laughs> I don't even hear anything again, you know. I have most, I've been, you know, send messages of buy this and this and that, but I don't, I resent that. So please, just try and be strong, okay? Yeah, I will. Um, now, Thank God you've clarified the issue of your you bringing your boyfriend involved in this whole stuff, how yeah. he he got involved in this whole stuff too. All right. Now I want to ask uh, this question, and so that we can just you know have you know uh, uh, what's it called? Um, um, maybe just say good night to you. All right. Mm. Um, when you when. Did they, they say, okay, now you sent the information to Celine's sister. Yes. Did they, did they give feedback of what is going on? Because you know, we were to the IG. Yes, yes. yes that, was why, that was why I kept hitting on the, hey, my petition, my petition. Because when uh, Celine's sister went uh, to the police and she told me a lot of stories and also uh, she was telling me that, uh, that she, she saw Andrew and she said he seemed comfortable and yes. uh, and they wanted to grant him bill. So that was why actually I was hitting on everybody, Ron, go go yeah. to IGP or go go send a petition. If they cannot approve mine, they can approve yours. Okay. At least. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. So um that's good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And um, yeah. Do you have any issue with um a famous husband? <laughs> ah, a fever husband. He was the reason why he gave them, uh, he gave the bloggers a chance to to say things about me. I have never seen this man before. They have been married, yes, uh, but I have never gone to the wedding. But she told me they were married. So uh, uh, it's about uh, monetary issues. But uh, I want to come on air right now to say I have never received any money from a fever husband. Mm. 
And he knows, he knows. The, I had a conversation with the Apiba sister yesterday. I said, go and ask Tony if he gave me money. So you said I, he did not yes. send money to you? No, he has never sent any money. And the family called him and uh, he said the, the blogs are lying. So I don't know. Maybe you could call, call him on live or if, if I'm lying or something, he, he should come. And also, if he sent me money, he should bring receipts. I myself, I have spent so much and I, I have never ever put it on someone. Hey, I'm spending so much, but it's because these people are my friends. Mm. And I know the bond between me and them, especially Afiba. Afiba is more like a sister, even Celine too. Celine is my friend. So I spent on my own end. I never asked anybody. Even the sister knows about it. Afiba's sister knows about it. But I have oh. never said, hey, can anybody give me money? I used on my own end. So I told, uh, I don't, but it's, it's okay, yeah. It's okay. Uh, because um, um, people are saying that he, he gave you several million naira. I, I, can, I told him, okay, if he gave me seven million, he should come out and bring receipts at least. I don't know why he said that maybe because uh he doesn't know me before or something okay yeah all right okay no problem you have just debunked that that the man never i have never if if i have he should come live or the family knows that the family knows it too that i i didn't take any money from tony okay. i have never yes aside this issue now have you ever spoken to him before now no i have never no. it was because of this issue i got that to know him got to yes know, yes know you. You know, all right. So, um, um, uh, Tony, uh, Afiba's husband, um, you know, uh, people are quoting you on social media bloggers and different sources that uh, you said you sent money to bless him. Blessing is not saying here that you, you did not send any money, um, to her that because of this case, she got to know you. And Blessing have also said here she has spent half uh, money, personal money. Because this, uh, these two girls, uh, Fiba, your your wife, and Celine are uh, her friends. The reason why she took the steps, she you know, the, the, the steps from the one. And then she also narrated. I have to save that video. I did not delete it. The video is on my page. She also narrated how she got involved from the one. She wrote petition to the to the police to the IG for case transfer. Later, when she the petition she wrote because with, you know they said we did not honor it because of the way she wrote it you know she was novice of all this whole stuff from what she said here this is her first time getting involved in these police cases and why her boyfriend got involved was because she knows nobody in the police so reason why when she told her boyfriend her boyfriend now assisted her to get the police involved you know one thing when somebody is trying to assist i don't want to conclude anyway but i'm just giving myself as a you know as a point as a reference when someone is going to assist and Accusations come from one, two, three, from different places. The person may even decide to just step aside, you understand? But for me, why I'm not step aside in this case? Because I, if I step aside, people will still say that ah, they are failing to keep quiet. So, you know, anything you do, people will talk. That's just it. Uh, so, Blessing, thank you very much for joining me tonight. Yeah. And um, thank, uh, you. thank you so much. Like I told them before, I keep saying it here that I saw you at the police office in Abuja. Mm. I saw you there. You came with Afiba's relative to to the police station. You brought them there. I saw you with my two. I, I didn't know at that time that you were blessing until all this whole noise started. Yeah. I now you now reach, we now reach, we now I now communicated to you on Instagram, WhatsApp messages you contacted and said yes. I'm the one who you saw that you told me that you saw me that day at the police. I said, oh, that's yeah. you. So I have to start making findings about you mm. because I cannot communicate with you on WhatsApp without me getting to know more mm. about you. That's I asked the little sisters, I asked them who you are, who, you know, who is blessed. They told me that blessing is their friend and rest of them too. So mm. most, if you have received information, maybe something ba uh, bad, negative from them, maybe know that maybe because, you know, you're Afiba's friend. Afiba yeah. is married. Yeah. People will be angry that why will a married woman come to visit you? And you allow her to, you know, to go somewhere. Yeah. People will be angry, but they don't she, know that. Mm. You just said, you said, you said that both of them, Celine and Afiba, yes. traveled together from Lagos. Yes, and, to... and this is, and it's they always travel together. Yes, this so is it. 
They always it's, it's not like, to get it's not like out. Afiba just came to he came alone to see you. Yeah. She came with Celine that both of them travel together. Yeah. Do you understand? So people should understand this that Afiba did not visit Blessing alone. She came with Celine because both of them have been traveling together and they both came to went to Emo State, then traveled to Port Harcourt where they stayed in Blessing's house. Yeah. That's this, this this is what you told me, right? Yeah. On this live session. Yes, it's true. Then again, mm -hmm. when they left mm -hmm. on twenty seven, they told that they're gonna come back yes. on the twenty ninth. Yes. Like that's yes. two days time. Yes. Like to assist them to drop the key yes. somewhere. So yes. they can have where to stay. So they can pack the luggage and leave, yes. And leave. So because they left the luggage in your in your house. Yes. Until they got disappeared. And later she sent you a distress message. Yeah location google location live location and then later which you use in sending to their families that this is what's mm -hmm. going on you now went reported the case so my dear if this if this 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 is what you've, you've you directed everything that transpired and yes. i think it's good that people hear from your own end so yeah, god bless and, you so much and, and, I, and i want i want the public to really focus on and i want the police to really help because uh i see no reason why they're deviating this instead of looking for my friends yes. because it's terrible but it's, it's okay god bless you thank you thank so you. much for joining us live and uh, uh maybe you can just be on live i can bring you back just for 20 okay. minutes let's okay, no hear questions from people then we can just you know bring okay. you back and answer them is that okay 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 fine god. thank you god bless thank you. you god bless you right. yeah, thank yeah. you Um, thank you guys. Uh, that's a blessing. Okay. Uh, thank you guys for, uh, for this. Uh, if you wish to join us live, just, um, Okay, I can bring her back on life. He said, "Okay, let's let's bring her back on life." Okay. okay. So, um, let us if just come, just just join me so that we can just um uh just ask her some few questions. Then we we can you know uh we can move on, please. Request to join, then I'm going to bring you, please. Request to join, and I'll bring you. I am okay. Smart Victor, okay. Smart. Let's bring you. Uh, uh. All right. So, Blessing, can you request back? So let me bring you back, and um, so that this guy will ask you just one, one or two questions. Then we we'll bring in one person again. Hello, brother. Good evening. Hello, sir. Good evening. Yes, sir. Hold on. Yeah, you, um, you, you want to ask her a question? No, 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 not actually. Hold okay. on. Um, okay. Go ahead. I wanted to, I wanted to give you a thanks. I wanted to really thank you, but I'm trying to fix up my camera. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right. thank you very much, Harrison, thank you. for thank you, sir. For for everything you've been doing because thank I've been you. following the case for for a while. So it's not easy for your for your for your um support for everything you've been doing. It's been it's been it's been a hard hard time for you, for, for the family also of the victim. So I know it's not easy, but I really thank you. I've been following the, the, the situation of, of this case and that was why i had to come up so yeah um i really do appreciate you i really do appreciate i've been your fan i've been your fan right from time for for a long period of time so i'm not i'm not thank currently in nigeria yeah thank you too god bless you i'm not currently in nigeria but i would wish to 
to meet you someday in person and um really you. appreciate appreciate Thank you. you Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you so much. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. So um let's can you come back on live so that there are some questions it dropped that I wish to just ask you to so respond to it, then we, we continue, please. Just request to, to join me uh, uh back so that we can just uh All right. Thank you for greeting me, bros. God bless you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. We have some questions to ask Blessing. So once I add her back now, if you have questions, just indicate. Tell me you want to add. I will request. I'm going to ask. I'm going to bring you back and you ask her these questions, okay? If you if you drop any negative comment on, on this, my person on this question, I'm going to either block or I remove because I don't want... Uh, you to have um you know uh for her to feel bad coming here to express herself on what has happened all right so please let's have you let's have uh okay blessing is back here now thank you blessing for coming so please who wants to ask bush but okay can you request to join so i can add you and uh okay blessing hang on okay just hold on um okay blessing yeah they said I'm I'm putting words in your mouth. I don't I can't remember doing that. All right. So I'm going to ask question and allow you to flow and talk. All right. Uh -huh. Okay. So I told them this is my. I don't like doing like I don't know how to interview somebody in live video. If me I stand for you, if you ask question, so make sure not blame me. Did your husband? Did they? Sorry, I'm I don't want to your husband. I'm not married. I'm prophesying. I'm seeing vision. Ah, Holy Ghost. Ah. I'm seeing vision that you're getting married soon. So claim it to claim it because it's coming your way, all right? Um <laughs> all right. Um did Tony, Afiba's husband, transfer money to your boyfriend? No, never. He should come out and show receipts. That is what I'm saying. The family, Both. the family, the sister of Afiba. I told her, ask Tony. He said, Tony said it's, he didn't. I said, then why did he say that? He said, I don't know, maybe under tension because he doesn't know me. Or I don't know, but it's, he never, he never sent me money. I have spent, I have never told him, hey, Tony, give me back the money I spent. I have never even. Okay. I wish yeah. I wish I can be able to bring um, Tony's uh, husband here. So, um, brother. Please, if I want to ask a few questions, can you? She's there with us. Ask no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not a guy. I'm a girl. Yeah. So I wanted to talk to you. Sorry. Oh, you, you, my sorry, life yeah, is I'm all. Sorry. No, you're yes. Yeah. Bush, yeah. Because the body of worry. Yeah. Worry. Worry yeah. Goes. So, all right. Uh, yeah, welcome. Uh, oh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Ari. Right. So I've been following this case here yeah, uh -huh. from um, when I saw your post on Facebook. So uh -huh. I did some findings because I'm actually an investigator, but I'm into financial investigator okay. so there were so many okay. loopholes that i saw in the case yes. first of all the guy in the uk i think it should be really questioned because from some information i got about andrew online andrew has actually been wanted in the uk and they uh. said if anybody knows about him that they should inform the police so now why didn't ben inform the police now let's look at it from this other side of view yeah if we really want to know who and who is involved with andrew the first thing first was to have a transaction monitoring team in nigeria okay. that okay. should sorry yeah. sorry to cut you please that's this aspect is for police are investigating it yeah yeah uh, no yo, no yes okay. the account those informations are with the police Police came up and pleaded that we give them two weeks. They are on the matter. So I don't want to I don't want to talk about police investigation oh, of this. Oh, okay. no Reason why problem. let's focus on uh, um blessing. So from, from the videos you have watched her this, you know, she's been accused of knowing what happened to Afiba and Celine. And she's here now to clear her name. Do you understand? Yeah. So ask her question that you, you want to ask her so that she can respond to it. Oh, okay. No, I do I really don't want to ask Blessing any questions because okay. she has narrated our whole ordeal and everything. So if you even look at the kind of patterns Andrew uses, you will know that most times he meets these girls on Facebook okay. and 
they have a relationship or something which he used in buying these girls okay. and gets away with them. And also we can, I think um, if Andrew has stayed abroad also, I think I'm not categorically accusing or alleged. I think he has this um, SEX fetish of which is like BDSM or something. I think uh -huh. that gets to him, yeah. So I think that too should also be looked up at because if you look at all the guests, like from the narrative even Rachel did the last time, from our ordeal and everything, you can actually know that, that this Andrew is, is also a psychopath that is taking advantage oh. of. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Ma. Are you, hello? Are you okay? With, are you Are you done hey, now? Yeah. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. All right. So let me get questions directly on what she narrated so that we can just, you know, move on, please. Okay, guys. So uh, let's have um, another person. So please, and please just give us some time, please. I beg you. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, please. Can you please um um this question to blessing, not to place investigation or anything. I don't want to talk yeah. about police investigation. Um, no uh, so let's Thank focus you so on much. Blessing. Yeah. Thank you. Well done, blessing. Uh we have uh, been on this case for I think a month now. And uh there have been a lot of uh diversion and this latest one is on you yeah. so i think uh on daddy free's life mm. i heard uh, a fever husband said categorically mm. that he sent seven million naira no, never. to you no never never and uh he never sent me that and also uh i am seeing a post where they said uh, i'm threatening uh a fever husband because on the whatsapp message i sent to him i said tony me and you know you you've never sent me money that if you just i'm just i'm someone's child i have a family i have i have a name to protect you can't just come online and say what is not true out of you looking for who to blame. Your wife is an adult. Afiba is older than me. Selene is older than me. Yeah. So you, uh -huh. you don't come online and say what is not true. That if whatever you're saying is false, I'm going to sue you to court. So what wrong did I say in saying that? Yeah. Because I can't, if I was your sister and someone is trying to tarnish your sister's oh. image, would you keep quiet? Oh. Mm -hmm. oh great all right i think uh we also got a narrative too that uh when they sent you an sos they told you not to call them that andrew is coming and you called them no no and that is the no, narrative no, that no, prompted no, the whole no, thing to no. went uh saw no no no, this is it, huh? Because mm -hmm. I don't know what I don't know how the thing happened. Because when she sent me the video and said kidnapped by Andrew, she said, I said, What is going on? She said, Don't text. I said, Okay, send me his address. I want to know. I was shocked. What is going on? Send me address. Send me something. Send me something I can hold to. Give me his number. What is going on? I I, I don't even know. So this was it. So before I she sent me a live location and I told her, send me the one. I, no, she sent me live location. I said, send me current location because I know current location. Even if you delete it, if you move, I would see. Yeah. So, so that was what she sent. Then as she sent it, it be, they post it. Someone post it. Okay. Yeah. All right. And you said they visited you uh, probably six days before they left for ABBA. Yes. And they didn't uh, have any other conversation except the day they want to leave for Abba. Uh, that's concerning Andrew. Because, do you know that? You know, if uh, they have. Did, do if, you know that? Just, eh? let me just, finish. Have... just give okay. me a minute. Okay. Because if, uh, for example, my friends visit me mm. and I know they have intention to go to a, another place, mm. I know we must have talked about that place mm. for a couple of days even before they are mm. they start going mm. so but from what you narrated here yeah you said i think they told you a day before they left for a bar mm. so 
what did you people discuss uh, the six days they were in your house? Okay, let me let me let me just say this here because uh, even when Afiba came to my house, uh, I told because Arison asked me what did I do mm. and all that, and mm. I told her, hey, madam, I'm not even ready right now because I'm doing my business and I'm doing a renovation. Everything is on me. They even came to my office space. Even most times we, when I go to buy some stuff from my office space, they follow me and all that. So then the days, the other times they were in my house. In the morning I leave, I leave for work. I come back in yeah. the evening yeah. and they have their own rooms. Okay. You understand? It was not a simple, it's a, a small room where we can all have a, a, a conversation. Chat. Yes. Okay. Yes. So do, do you stay with your boyfriend? I stay in my house. I have okay, a house. Just, okay, yes. yourself. Yes. Okay. Myself. Okay. Okay. So uh, I'll just ask the last question. Okay. Uh, the, the, the time you got the SOS, mm -hmm. you started looking for how to get uh, see help. their family. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I, uh, you didn't mm. make any report prior before you went to Abuja to the IROT, right? No, no. You don't understand. I, okay. I was in Abuja. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was in Abuja because I was okay. living. You left was... for, you know, yes, on he... the 26th, you did that video, they left. You were in Port Harcourt, right? Yes. So when it was did you 27th. go to Abuja? I left Abuja the next day okay. because that was why they asked me for the key. Because I actually told them, I'm traveling. No, you will not, you will not leave in They said, no, they, they will come back. They can't take the bag there. When they come back, they, they pick up the bag mm -hmm. and go. I mm -hmm. just give them access. Yeah. So... And normally, even in Accra, even most times, if uh, I'm in Afiba's house, I've been in a sister's house, even without Afiba being there. Yeah. So. Okay. okay. So that's what I was asking. Okay. Did you make any official report when you got this information, or your first official report was in Abuja? My it was it was when I landed that I saw that message. Then immediately I contacted the police. Okay. In Abuja, yes. All right. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so you want to just add more, just add something from what she has, which you have asked and she answered. Just ask just uh, for one minute. Okay, she do what? Sorry. You, know, you, know, you asked her some questions. Yeah. And she has replied you. Do you have anything to say on this? Uh, for me, you know, this is a dicey case. It's not something I'm going to just uh, exonerate anybody okay. now. Uh, because everybody's a suspect. That's yes. the truth. Uh, yeah, but I think she has told her own story herself, uh, which is a very good step in the right direction. Yes. So that we will not be chasing shadow. These ladies uh -huh. might still be alive. They might be dead. We don't yes. know. But yes. we just hope that at the end of the day, we, you know, the family gets closure. So thank you so much, uh, Harrison. Okay. Now, in what you have said now, who and who do you think we can bring in on this life? After Fiba husband should also be part yeah. of this life because okay. he laid a very heavy accusation yeah. because if it's normal... And I called him yesterday to join. Uh, he did pick the calls. <laughs> yeah. If, if, you're, if you're physically, people who have done jungle justice on you. Yes. That's the yes. truth. Yeah. So uh, the husband needs to be here to also tell his side of the story because if he said he gave you two million, seven million, five million even one thousand naira he should be able to defend it and with receipts yeah you get just like the receipt we saw when the other guy posted about uh the chat he had with andrew and all that we saw a receipt yeah. uh which i think andrew and favor having a a joint account that's also mm -hmm. uh a very good step for investigators yeah. to look at yeah. all right thank you um Thank you. Please don't leave yet. Hold on, please. Hold on. I like your your questions you ask, and uh, thank you so much. These are the questions I want mm -hmm. to be saying here. If you are bring, if I'm bringing you, ask questions that are directly involved in this uh, in Celine and the rest of them. So Celine, please hold on, please. Um, Celine. I'm, I'm not. Um, let's bless him. Oh yeah. God, Jesus Christ. <laughs> These guys, they are somewhere, and I'm, 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 I'm God. Amen. 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 All right. Um, bless him. Yeah. You said you have been to people are asking, so I'm asking you what they are. So that you are you bringing them life. You've been okay. to um, Afiba's house. Yes. When uh -huh. you got there, there mm. did you meet? You did you meet her husband? 
No, I have never seen the husband. I have never. And so, mm. okay, I don't want to go into family the first, issue, please. So that the first time I met her, she was not. Uh, she wasn't married. She wasn't married. Oh, the first time I met her, she wasn't yeah. married. She wasn't married. Okay. So what year did she marry? What, what, what year did she get married? Mm. I think it's that's the next year. I think it was the next year. But I never went to the wedding. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but I, I think it was at, uh, I think it was court's wedding. I think they did. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, but the 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 they are living together, or maybe. Uh, most times uh, they live together. Most times she tell me, oh, she's going to see her husband. Most times, she's on okay. her own. Okay, sorry, yeah. let's let's not go into yeah. that. It's family uh, huh. issues. So yeah. thank you, uh, thank you, uh, Gwen Sugar for joining us. God bless you so much. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, bless me. Hold on, please. Please, just hold on. Uh, All right. So, uh, let me bring in Papsi Valerie. I'm not bringing those people that don't have profile. They are fake accounts. If you are having um, an yeah, account that doesn't have profile, I'm seeing you guys. You know it's fake. You are having this kind of. I know. When I click the profile, I know they are off. They are fake. So I'm bringing people who I feel that they are real human. You know. So if I bring I know they're, they're going to close camera and start, insult, uh, you know, dropping insult. So let's bring in this guy and um, one other person. Then we are out. Good evening, sir. Hello. Yeah. Good evening, sir. Hi. Good evening, Mr. Harrison. Can you hear me? Yeah. Very well, sir. All right. Thank you so much for bringing. Me. Uh, actually, I've been following up this case. Thank you. Also, go, go ahead and ask a question, please. I just want to ask my question also. So, uh, actually. I don't know between the two of them who is Afiba and who is Selene. So the fair, is... the fair one is Selene. The dark one is Afiba. Okay, so the fair one is the Nigerian lady, right? Yes. So... That, the black one is the Ghanaian, yeah. Okay, good. So uh blessing, you said you don't know about Andrew, right? Yes, I don't know yeah, about and, Andrew. And when they got to and also uh Selene doesn't know about uh, uh Andrew. Is it Selene or Afiba? Afiba. Ooh. I mean the Ghanaian lady. She doesn't know about no, Andrew. So I, I don't know. Both of them. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if she knows about him, but she just followed her. Okay. So the only mm -hmm. person who knows about Andrew is Selene. Selene. Yeah, it's Selene's Selene. okay, friend. Good. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So when they got to Andrew's place, who sent you the message that Andrew was kidnapped? It was Afiba. 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 How did Afiba send you the name uh, Andrew was kidnapped and you said Andrew but, when you don't know about them. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know Andrew. Uh, it was even uh, on the message. I think I sent it to Harrison where I said, "What is his number? What is I?" I, I commented, "What is his number? Give me his address." But, I, don't, I don't know his name. Okay, no, but the message came with his name, right? Or no name. Hello. Okay, um, can you hear me? No, I think uh, she Hello. has network yeah. issues on her end. Hello? Okay, Hello? Yeah. Back. yeah, go ahead, please. Okay, so okay. I'm listening. They send you, you a message that someone has been kidnapped by Andrew. Yes? Hello? Yeah, so yeah, say, I'm I, saying, I, Afiba sent you a message that Selim mm -hmm. has been kidnapped by Andrew, right? No, she didn't say Selene. She said kidnapped by Andrew. Okay. Kidnapped, but I think that's from Afiba, the Ghanaian lady. Yes, it's from, yes, it's from yeah. Afiba. And how did she know the name and how will you, you also know about Andrew? The name I don't know Andrew. I don't know the name. It was the first day I was hearing that name Andrew. It was the first day I was hearing about uh, the name Andrew. I don't know. So, but I know that they went to see someone. That's all Please I know. Stop. Let's leave the issue of this. Let's let's do mission kidnap, kidnap, kidnap again. So, <laughs> so please. Okay. okay. And that's that's just my clarification. I want to know. Yeah. Okay, that's that's yeah. okay, bro. Thank you. okay, bro. Let me just let me just say that she said that she got a message from a uh, saying uh -huh. that they are, have been heard or somewhere by this person. Uh, yeah. You understand. And mm -hmm. then the, the same person now sends a Google Live location to her. Mm -hmm. 
then she tried to reach back to her to ask her, okay, send me the number, this, this and that, address, or anything. She was not responding to her. Am I correct, Blessing? Yes. This, this was what she narrated to us here. Then okay. she, 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 died, she then reported uh, to the family of Celine and they used two, these two ladies and then now wrote petition too that after the family have reported the case, she reported the case to Celine, the sister, the yeah. sister to Celine, that, uh, uh, you know, I won't mention her name, uh, who now went to the police in her back to make an entry. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Because she was already in Abuja. They left her house on 27th, the next day being 28th. Am I correct? Yeah. She traveled to Abuja because she told them she was traveling that she's going to drop a key, the key for them. So if something happened in Abuja, you don't make entry in Abuja. You understand? Mm -hmm. yeah. somebody, somebody down down there at the scene, we have to go to nearest division or police to go and make an entry. Mm -hmm. I think reason why the family went and make an entry in a bar, that's that's a that's a clear a clear case there. All right. Yeah. Yeah. No, my problem is just the clarification on the name Andrew because from the beginning they're acting like they don't know about the name Andrew, but yes. I think both of them know about the name Andrew because if you could send her a message saying kidnapped by Andrew, it yes. means the other lady wasn't innocent at all also for yeah, going he, there. You know, you know, she said from the beginning, if you watch the other video, she said these two ladies came to her house and then the other Celine, they came to her house. They went from Lagos to Uri to her house. Do you, do you understand? And then the Celine told her that she's going to her bar to go and visit her boyfriend. Yeah. Are you, are you following? Yeah. Yeah. So both of them traveled together they left her house to go and visit Selene's boyfriend in her bar, mm. who happens to be this man. So when they were going, they did not tell her the name of the man they are going to see or visit. Mm -hmm. They only told her that, that I'm going to see, visit a boyfriend, though. And, yeah. to them, and they are going to come back on the 29th. That's the next mm -hmm. Okay, one minute, Mr. Harrison. The yes. blessing mentioned here that she asked Afiba also that, do you know this person? She says she does not know this person. Yes right yes yes but when they got there afiba was the one who sent the message no no the no no you not you don't, you know you don't understand you don't understand you do not understand the life if you look at the first time i joined the life i was asking celine uh who is this person you're going to see in uh in a bar so she said it's her boyfriend i said hmm, do you know this person she said yes then she said uh afiba afiba do you know that my friend i was talking about so I said, oh, okay, that means maybe she has told Afiba about him. I don't know. I don't know. These people are best of friends. So I don't know. Yeah, but you said you asked Afiba. Afiba said she does not know the person also. Yes. Okay, so I think that's, we are done. Any other, yes, questions? Well. Any other questions, please? No, that's it. Okay. Is that, is, are you okay now? Anyway, maybe. I'm okay. With the Maybe you can, after this session, you can just go and watch. I, I just yeah, yeah. That mm -hmm. video. No, I watched the live just... already from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, okay guys, so um, let's have one and blessing is, is, is almost 12. Um, sleep. That blessing okay. can uh, can leave us. Um, okay, let's bring in... Um, this person have been okay. Uh, okay, let's let's. Ooh. Oh. oh my God. Sorry, so sorry. Yeah, good okay. evening. Yeah, good evening, sir. Uh, sorry, I'm in the dark. Okay. Uh, my question is as simple as this. Um, this gay blessing said she does not know anything about the money Afiba's husband has been saying he sent to Nigeria to help facilitate the process of inv investigation from the onset. No. no. He said, no. according to what they're saying, they said he said he gave me money. No. Money. no, I, no. Watched, I watched the live interview Harrison did that day when the guy okay. was online with Mr. Daddy Freeze. And he cl clearly said, he said 
he sent money to blessing and her boyfriend so are you trying to to say, are you trying to say if this same man is brought up again, you can defend saying he didn't send money to your boyfriend as well? He should bring receipts. The family knows. The family knows. Um, okay, sorry. Okay, uh, okay. All I, all I will advise, you should, pick a, date. You should pick a date. You should pick a date. You should pick a date to bring it, bring the bring... man up. Yes. yes. And the boyfriend of blessing too should be up to defend himself. Nobody should speak for anybody to say, okay, this person did not send me um, or my girlfriend money as well. Okay, thank you. I'm going to bring, I'm going to message Afiba's husband, yes. Anthony, and I'll bring him, I'm not bringing him alone. Bless him, I'm, bless him, I'm sorry, I have to bring you back again. Not today. Yes. Let's give it um, tomorrow, please. Same time tomorrow. I think it's okay. Yeah. Okay. My second question, Go ahead. sorry. Go ahead, okay. please. Um, the SOS message that was sent to Bless, uh, Miss Blessing, according to her, mm -hmm. she said the message came in with Andrew, Andrew, underlined three times. No, not Andrew, three times. Kidnapped. So how did, the message, how did you get the SOS message that was sent to you uh, that uh, alerted the kidnap test Listen message? Listen to the first, the first uh, it, was not, it was not a test message, it was a WhatsApp message. She said kidnapped by Andrew, call the police. Okay, kidnapped by Andrew. So you said when you got to the police, the defense headquarters or the uh, police headquarters, you did not, you forgot to include I Andrew. I did not forget. I said she sent a distressful message that she was kidnapped. But you did not put the name as no, the way the message came in. I didn't. But I told, I told them I have a, I told them, no, it's not about that's the thing. I told them if they want, they could go through my phone and see, see the message. So... Right. I just feel the best thing to be done is, uh, Mr. Harrison, when next you're doing this live video, bring in uh, Mr. Tony, which is Afiba's no, husband. No, and no hold on. Person. Please don't, don't, hold on, please don't, hold on. We, Blessing is being accused on social media for being part of what happened to Celine and Afiba. Are you listening to me? Yes. And then she was, she was being accused of collecting money from Mr. Tony. So we need to hear from her directly. And now she has said she did not collect any money from Mr. Tony. Or yes. I'm going to collect money. It's now for us now to bring Mr. Tony. So we can't, I can't bring him without, let me hear. Let no, me no, hear no, from that's her directly now. I'm saying, I'm saying, yes, yes because when we, next you are, yes, yeah, no, yes. I, I said, I said we are bringing by tomorrow. I'm going to message the man so that he can join us live tomorrow. So that I can hear from her directly. You can hear from him directly, so that both of them, she's here. She has said she has never received money from Mr. Tony or anything. You understand? Or even the boyfriend. You, mm. are you, you understand? Yes. Uh -huh. She now, she now said, she now told us the involvement of her boyfriend in this matter was because you already listened to the story, to the story. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. So yes, I, 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 I don't to want everything. to. For me, I, I, I don't want to uh, be seen as one being sentimental. Two. Because for me, who has been following up for this matter from day one, I know where the matter is going and what has transpired. You understand? There has been a lot of diversion in this matter from beginning, from onset. But with, I try to see how to manage it so that we won't be having different stories fly in different places. Now, it depends on the sources where you are listening, where you are getting your story from. Mm. Who is giving these sources telling you, are they on ground? Are they, are they following the case? Even like, you don't even know what police are doing on this matter. Now, these are the things to because they are not even on ground to, to know yeah. what is going on. So, I'm not trying to say that I'm the more credible platform or where to get information. But what I'm saying is that I am on ground. I see, I have seen things. I have noticed things that have happened. Even me, when they are too, they don't accuse me. Say, Nami, bring POS, they collect police for money. I didn't even know when police. Yeah. Were, because the honest truth is, when a situation like this is on ground, everyone is a suspect. Uh, good. If you so, have to tackle, so, yes. uh, good. So I got involved in this case even at the point on the tenth of May. I got involved in this case. So what I transferred before, I am not aware. You understand? Uh, but I know that I did a whole lot in this matter, and and I thank God that today I'm still here with you guys. So please, tomorrow we're going to have uh, Afiba's husband on this show or his will break will take him to the place where he stated where he made a live video on that under the free show 
where he stated that the new money was uh, he paid money to to um to blessing and, and blessings for blessings husband yes. yeah and blessings boyfriend sorry yes blessings boyfriend so that we he, he can go there and possibly we all go there on that same platform he can stay there and blessing you know we we we, we, we can't yeah, to on that. I'm sorry, when you're bringing in Mr. Tony, just a suggestion. No? I think the blessings boyfriend should be brought in too because so you will know where we're tackling the because uh, if this money issue is being tackled yes. and we know exactly where we're heading to, it will actually help too in this fact finding about this whole situation. Yes. All right, thank, thank you, you very much. much. Thank you yeah, very much. Thank you. Okay, let me yeah. add up. There's another person on life. Please hold on, let me remove uh, Mr. Richie so okay. you can you can go ahead, please. Okay, you have the ask your questions, please. Um, can you hear me? Yes, very well. I can hear you. All right. Um, I don't know. I actually joined late. I'm just um, I just joined a few minutes ago, but I don't know if this question has been asked or answered. My question is this: um, Blessing said, um, Afibia's husband didn't send any money to her nor the husband. And then I did um, recall, or I can remember, he did say something about um, a blessings boyfriend um, suggesting they get um, vigilante people involved in the case. So at what point did the vigilante thing come in and to what connection, you know, was it, what, what connection was he doing that since he said they didn't pay any money and he was saying it was in regards to that. So can you please... Um, just oppose that or clear that yes, okay, for I'll, me as well. I have to clear this out, uh, and I'm saying this for the first and the last time because uh, it seems like uh, they're not focused on the case, but it's okay. Uh, there was, I have never, I don't know any vigilante guy. And also, this is what I always say Tony, if you sent me money, bring receipts. Let people know, okay, you sent this money to me, let them see the receipts. You send this money to this person, show receipts. Don't just come out and say anything. I don't know why he said it, but I told him, you can't defame my name. Because this was the reason why people started attacking me and all that. Even I, I've seen my close friends posting uh, stories about this without knowing that it was me. So, but he has to bring receipts because he was the one who made this, uh, this, this whole, whole thing look like, but it is okay. I don't know, maybe, maybe because of trust, but he has never seen me, and I have never seen him. You could ask him that too. Okay, um, and I actually thought, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, Scott, I've had that okay. couple of times since I joined. Yeah. Now, yeah. if he didn't give you anything, I asked the question with regards to vigilante. Mm. At what point did you? Okay, let me rephrase. Did your boyfriend request um um a Phoebe's husband? Did this suggest the involvement of a vigilante or not? No. Let's take it like that. No vigilante was, no. No, never. Okay. Okay. Yeah, um, thank you. Yeah, I wish um, the other man, the man is here and... Um, I'm going to bring, uh, it's going to come, it's going to come out and clear this because um, I don't want, I don't want to put, after tomorrow's, I'm going to say what I want to say. Or I, want, I don't want to say it now until after he comes in tomorrow with receipt evidence. I will message him to show me the evidence that he said he sent money to these persons. He said not only them, he said he sent money to the police. Well, that, uh, yes. yes. Are we are we here? Yeah, yeah, she's she's gone. The next yeah, one. There's no, there's no problem. Um okay, I want, and she's gone. It's fine. I wanted to ask her since she said she didn't the man didn't send any money to to her the, the man sent to the boyfriend. I wanted to ask that, but she's gone. That's no, fine. So it didn't say send money to the boyfriend. She didn't say that. No, no, I was gonna ask if she said she didn't get any money from the man. Did the man send to the boyfriend? No, she said no, she said that. Okay. Okay. Well, on our last, yes, she said that she, you know, her boyfriend had no collect any money. If, okay. if, if he sent money to the boyfriend or, or she, he can bring evidence, and you know, yeah, you know, the man also said that he paid police 
police for money too. I'm going to send him a message to get all these things that he said, that he sent money and rest of them too. Then tomorrow by 10 p.m., uh, today by 10 p.m. is already morning, we will now have them um, to you know clarify this. But the money is not my issue. The money is not my problem at all. My problem is how do we get this, you know, these girls? That's number one. Number two, and she's been accused of being part of whole, all this whole stuff. And she said she had given police people statement. And I saw her at the police in Abuja where she went to make, uh, sorry, where, where I went to drop um, Rachel to make statement. And she was there with her favorite relative. Because people are saying that she's running, she's running. And she told me she's not running. And you know, like she saw me at the station that day. And I said, oh, you are the one? She said, yes. And reason why I have to bring her up on live to, to clarify it all this yeah you, so, you did, did well thank you thank so you much so, thank, thank you so much ma. so tomorrow we're going to have tony on live he has to be here with us and uh because the family involved selling family involved me you know on this case all right yes. i got involved in this case from two selling's family uh from the 10th of may all right so later i got in touch with uh he got in touch with me the afibas husband we started communicating and uh, I will say that he has been very, very active on this matter. So he has right to accuse somebody of <laughs> this and that. You understand? But they said who accuses must prove. He who alleges must yes. prove. Yeah. If you alleged somebody of anything, you must prove it. Yeah. Like the way they are accusing me all this while on social media. Nobody has come to prove anything that this is what I I did or committed. Like when they said that uh, I brought, uh, my, I don't listen to all those things. So most times people where they get information from is one thing too yeah you understand so mm -hmm. because this case now diversion on this case is is much diversion is much they are trying to divert our attention from one two three four i'm just begging the the mpf to please help us to hasten this matter up i know they are doing a whole lot i know the, the igp set up a panel and this panel are doing a whole lot on this matter currently because this matter has brought kind of embarrassment to the system you understand so yeah. they are doing a whole lot to unravel unravel everything and i don't think they're going to hide what's favor that is that has happened in this matter so i'm i'm on this platform i'm giving kudos to the igp for setting up a panel on this matter because once this report is out a lot of these issues coming up here we you know we go down so that people will now understand what's truly transpired. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. thank you so much, Ma, for joining us live. And thank you so much. God bless Th you. Thanks for having All me. Right. Have right, a thank you. Yeah. Mm, bye bye. Yeah. So um okay, the hook up story question. She said Sterling was going to see her boyfriend. Nobody mentioned about hook up. Did not go for hook up. And that is it. If you like, stand on it. That's your business. Uh, nobody, she said she was going to see her friend and, you know, that was all, her boyfriend. So nobody talks about, she didn't talk about things like um, hiccup or whatsoever. All right, guys. So thank you guys for joining me live um, to, uh, tonight, to this mo last night, to this morning. And I want to thank you guys for um, all your support and you know uh okay thank you thank you very much god bless you guys so tomorrow morning um <laughs> tomorrow night 10 p.m will be live with blessings uh uh afibas uh husband and blessing all right we're gonna have them live possibly we'll bring in selene relative one of selene relative to join us too so that uh we can be able to rest this this issue um blessing afibas husband and the rest of them all right god bless you